new year, new goals, new resolutions, new plans. Here's how I plan to make money from my photography in 2023. First, a little bit of context about who I am and what I already do. So my name is Toma. I'm a full-time landscape photographer. Um, I'm doing this since 2009. So I'm having almost 14 years of experience. In 2012, I started organizing workshops and photo tours. In uh, 2014, I started a YouTube channel, this YouTube channel. Uh, in 2016, I uh, started selling my um, editing courses, uh, online editing courses. And in 2022, I launched my first ebook on landscape photography. So this is what I'm already doing. And let me tell you the ways I plan to make money in 2023. The first method that I'm going to use in 2023 or 2023 is organizing workshops and photo tours. So I'm going to continue with this trend. And if you want to uh, get involved in this type of action, <clears throat> first of all, you need to realize that you need um, a fan base. You need uh, a decent amount of photographers that, uh, or passionate photographers, not full-time photographers. People that are passionate about photography uh, that are following you because you're going to need um, an audience that is trusting you and your work and the quality that you bring to the table. If you have something to say during these workshops, if you have um, things that you can learn the people that join uh, your, uh, your event, then you can call it a workshop. If you don't plan in teaching them techniques and composition and offering them a uh, critique of, on their photos, just call it a photo tour because people are going to be disappointed if they join a workshop and there is no learning uh, component attached to this event. The second method uh, are going to be online courses. So I already have some online courses on, on uh, editing. I plan on creating uh, a few more courses that I'm going to sell on my website and also on uh, Skillshare. Usually if you want to sell editing courses, your photos need to be spectacular. And uh, when people are looking at your photos, they're going to uh, buy the, the editing course simply because your photos look really, really well and they want to know what techniques uh, you are using. Uh, in terms of pricing your um, online courses, you need, to, um, you need to think about the following thing. Skillshare is it's very cheap. Udemy offers uh, constant discounts. Uh, Domestica and there are lots of other websites where you can buy online courses and from time to time there are discounts. So you can't price your uh, courses very, very high unless you are an authority in the field and then you can of course price the, your courses according to your uh, authority level if you want. Uh, for me Skillshare worked, now it's uh, worked in a, at a decent uh, selling volume um, or minutes watched per month, uh, but right now um, the the uh, the sales, if you want, the, the people that are watching my courses, is going slowly down because I haven't uploaded a course on their website uh, in uh, two years, I think. Udemy always always well, it was a bad site for me. I I didn't sell. Uh, um, much on this website. I mean, once every two or three months, I make seven dollars or something like that. It's it's irrelevant. The third way I'm going to try and make money for my photography is write another ebook. I think one ebook per year is more than enough. It's not easy to write an ebook. There are people that prefer reading all sorts of other ebooks or books and uh, compile uh, the ideas of those authors and put them in, a, in, an, uh, in another book. Sometimes it can work, but I think in photography, you should have your own ideas, your own way of approaching photography, 
your own style. You, you have to talk from your own perspective. It's, it, it, it's not valuable if you're just speaking in, with, with other people's words, if you know what I mean. The fourth way, a YouTube channel. A YouTube channel can be a tool to help you make some money. Uh, there are some, some things that I noticed. So I started this channel in 2014. Uh, I was making a lot more views back then than I'm doing right now. Uh, I noticed that in this niche of landscape photography, YouTube uh, favors uh, channels by creators from UK and United States. That's why you need to think very well about uh, making a YouTube channel. Um, urban and street photography are on the rise right now. And um, you, you need to approach this, not necessarily with the idea that you're going to make money directly from uh, ads that are displayed on YouTube. I'm making more uh, in an indirect way from people that are seeing my work, seeing my videos, and they are joining my workshops and photo tours. Method number five, stock photography and stock video stock it it's it's not what it used to be um, there was a period about eight eight or nine years ago when i was making uh, really good money from uh, from stock now um, the royalties the artists are paid are going down and probably will continue to go down in a in a steady but sure way if I would start um, my journey in stock, I would go into video. This is what I'm planning to do this year, to go more into video. Even though the volume of sales is a lot uh, less than photos, uh, the royalties are higher. Method number six. This is an, a new thing for me. I'm um, going to open an Etsy shop or maybe two Etsy shops because I want to try and sell digital downloads. And um, I don't know exactly what photos I'm going to sell or what is going to be my approach, but uh, this is a thing that I, th I think you should consider because if you're going to sell your photos as digital downloads on Etsy, you can have an in uh, a better income uh, rather than sell them on, on stock. So I don't know how it's going to work. I don't know how, uh, how big the market is on Etsy for my type of photos. And myth number seven, this is something that never worked for me in a consistent way, selling prints. Um, I don't know exactly why, or at least I, I have an idea why I don't sell prints. And the, the main idea is I'm selling them only um, on a website that um, you can order your print from there. And I think that if you want to sell prints, you should display them in a gallery. A gallery, a physical place where people are used to go and um, see art and buy art. Uh, it's a different experience when you see the print live in front of you, especially if it's a large print, you, you can appreciate it more and you can see the value in it. Uh, as I said, it, it didn't work for me until, uh, until now. I was selling maybe 10 to 15 prints per year. And this is really low. You can't make a living with this unless you're selling a print for thousands and thousands of dollars. Uh, then you can make money, but it's not the case here. Now, if you have other ideas in which you can monetize your content, just uh, use the comment section below. We will all learn something new, maybe, uh, from your comment. And until next time, keep on photographing because it's the only way that you can get better. Bye-bye.